What is SAP Plant Maintenance? SAP Plant Maintenance, PM, application component provides organization with a tool for all maintenance activities to be performed. It is a component of the SAP ERP Central Component, ECC, that provides businesses with support on maintaining equipment and systems. All the activities that are performed under maintenance are interconnected and hence this module is closely integrated with other modules for example production planning, PP, material management, M, and sales and distribution, SD, etc. Which modules you can integrate with SAP PM? SAP PM module can integrate with other SAP ERP central components such as materials management, M, quality management, QM, Sales and Distribution, SD, Finance, FI, Production Planning, PP, Controlling, CO, and Human Resources, HR. What are the key responsibilities in SAP Plant Maintenance? You perform the following activities under Plant Maintenance minus. Inspection, Identify the Actual Solution. Inspection is done to check the actual condition of a technical system. Preventive maintenance. Preventive maintenance is used to maintain high availability of the technical system. It includes maintenance planning and work scheduling activities for technical objects. Repair, maintain current condition. Repair involves all measures that can be performed to restore the ideal condition. Repair process it is can be performed at many planning stages like work scheduling, resource planning, and initial costing etc. and you can respond immediately WRT to a damage event causing production shutdown. You can create required purchase requisition, processed work orders to reduce the downtime. What is a technical object in PM? To effectively manage SAP maintenance activities in an organization, you need to divide existing maintenance structure into technical objects. Technical objects are used to define the machine types that exists in an organization and using the object characteristics, you can further define other technical objects. What is maintenance plant in PM? Maintenance plant for a technical object is known as plant in which you perform the maintenance tasks for the objects and planning is done. You can perform the following activities in maintenance planning plant minus. Defining task list as per maintenance plan. As per BOM and task list, you perform material planning, management and scheduling of maintenance plans, maintenance orders creation and execution. What is maintenance planning? As per the structure of the company, maintenance planning can be performed. You define the tasks under maintenance planning as per the structure and defined technical objects. Following types of maintenance planning is possible minus Centralized Maintenance Planning Decentralized Maintenance Planning Partially Centralized Maintenance Planning What is Object-Related Structuring of Technical Objects? In this structuring, you divide your technical system into pieces known as equipment. An equipment is an individual object which can be placed in a technical system or part of technical system. What is a Functional Structuring of Technical Objects? In this type of structure, you divide your technical system as per functional locations. With the division of product line into functional locations, individual unit can act as functional locations in the system. What is equipment master record? An equipment is known as an individual object in the system that is maintained independently. Equipment can be installed at different functional locations. You can create individual equipment in an organization based on object-based structure of a technical system. What are the functions of using Equipment Master? Using equipment, you can perform following functions in the system minus. You can manage individual data from a maintenance perspective in SAP system. You can perform individual maintenance tasks for each technical object in the system. You can use this to maintain a record of all the maintenance tasks performed for a technical object. In case you want to see data for an object for a longer time, you can use Equipment Master Record for the same. When to represent an object as equipment or as functional location. In case of breakdown, you should represent an object as technical object if it is repaired. 
When you define an object as technical object, you can maintain service history of the object in system. Note that you can't change the equipment number once it is created in the system. If you have entered an incorrect number mistakenly you need to achieve this to change it. When you are using multiple piece of equipment you need to classify the equipment to perform a quick search. When you exchange an object in case of breakdown due to its low value and in this case, you don't need to maintain service history. For each functional location, you have to define a structure indicator as mentioned in previous topic. When you maintain a functional location in another functional location, you can't store the installation location history. When you mistakenly enter wrong master data for an equipment, how do you manage this? To make changes to equipment master record there is possibility that data has been changed, or you mistakenly enter wrong data, and you have to change the master record. T code, IE02. Explain data transfer between technical objects. It is possible to transfer master data from one functional location to other functional location or between functional location and piece of equipment. Using data transfer function, you can maintain data at superior level in hierarchical structure or you can also maintain data for objects assigned to functional locations. What are the horizontal and hierarchical data transfer? Hierarchical data transfer. In hierarchical structure, you can maintain data at high level and system will automatically transfer the changes to below level. Horizontal data transfer. Using horizontal data transfer, you can transfer data from reference location to functional location or from functional location to piece of equipment. What is a milestone confirmation? The milestone confirmation is a special form of confirmation, in which the confirmation of one operation causes other operations or sub-operations to be automatically confirmed at the same time. Milestones are operations that have the corresponding indicator in the control key. Operations can be defined as milestone operations in their control keys. If a milestone operation is confirmed, then previous operations are automatically confirmed. Can we change equipment category once defined? Yes, T code, IE02. Explain use of item number and maintenance order. Item number is used to identify the material component that is to be used for an operation in the maintenance order. It is generally given in increments of 0010. It is the first field in the components tab of a maintenance order. What is breakdown maintenance? In SAP PM, when there is a malfunction occurs for any of the equipment which requires a response from maintenance team. The process of correcting this situation is known as breakdown maintenance. When do you perform breakdown maintenance? Breakdown maintenance, it is required in following situations minus. In breakdown maintenance, equipment is not working properly. In breakdown maintenance, production is affected when a technical equipment went breakdown. What is the order type for breakdown maintenance? PMO2 What is corrective maintenance? The corrective maintenance contains all the process steps that are involved in preventive maintenance and regular maintenance process. Using corrective maintenance, following functions can be performed under plant maintenance minus. Plant maintenance user can enter a notification in SAP system to request maintenance and to repair defective equipment. Maintenance planner can create, plan, and schedule a maintenance work order in the system. Work order is received by the technician and enter the information. An authorized person in PM the system approves and completes the work as per the work order. What is difference between corrective maintenance and preventive maintenance? In preventive maintenance, routine checks are performed as per company's maintenance strategy to ensure that machines are running as per the required parameters. In SAP PM, using routine maintenance plans you create a preventive work order. In corrective maintenance, you correct a malfunction or a machine failure by raising the notification in the system. Work order is received by the technician and enter the information. An authorized person in PM the system approves and completes the work as per the work order. In certain scenarios, 
A corrective work order is created as a result of preventive work order when a routine checkup is performed, technician finds a failure or a malfunction in operating machine and a corrective work order is created to clear the fault. What is order type for preventive maintenance? PMO3 is for performing preventive maintenance. How is corrective maintenance different from breakdown maintenance? You perform a corrective maintenance to improve the working condition of the machine. It is performed when a malfunction is detected and machine is not operating properly as per designated function. Breakdown maintenance is carried out when your equipment has a breakdown and not working. In breakdown maintenance, production is affected. In SAP system PMO2 order type is used to perform breakdown maintenance. What is preventive maintenance and key submodules under this? Preventive maintenance in an organization is used to avoid system breakdown and to avoid production breakdown. Using preventive maintenance, you can achieve various benefits in your company. Preventive maintenance term is used to perform inspections, preventive maintenance and repairs. Maintenance plans are used to define dates and the extent of preventive and inspection maintenance tasks which can be planned for technical objects. What is the task list in preventive maintenance? Task list in preventive maintenance is defined as the sequence of activities that are performed as part of preventive maintenance in an organization. They are used to perform repeated tasks as part of preventive maintenance and to perform them efficiently. Using task lists, you can reduce the effort by standardizing the work sequence. All the updates are performed at one specific spot in the corresponding maintenance task list and all the maintenance orders and maintenance items in the system receive the updated status of work sequences. With help of task lists, it helps in reducing the effort required to create maintenance orders and maintenance items as you can refer back to task list to see the work sequences. What is planned maintenance? All the schedule activities include inspection. Maintenance and repairs come under planned maintenance. In planned maintenance, you define the time intervals when the work steps has to be executed and work sequences in which they have to be executed. What is an ongoing maintenance? Task list for ongoing maintenance contains the work sequences based on current inspection. All inspection that is done without a regular schedule comes under ongoing maintenance. Like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.